Hi, this is Mr. Spone here, and today we're going to look at uh, metric conversions using the ladder method. And there's a little mnemonic down here. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And this is a way to remember metric prefixes. So we have King K Henry H died by drinking chocolate milk. So that saying kind of helps us remember these. Kilo, hecto, deca, base, deci, centi, and milli. And these are units used in the metric system. And the idea is just the word kilo is a prefix. It comes at the beginning of the word like a kilogram or a kilometer, kilometer. And all the word kilo means is 1,000 units. So if I said I went to the store and it took me a kilo second, that means it took me 1,000 seconds. A hectosecond is 100 seconds. A decasecond is 10 seconds. Uh, a millisecond is a thousandth of a second. So these are just prefixes that go on the beginning of the word and they help us identify values using the metric or the standard international system. Um, there are four base units that we're going to use. This base unit, uh, one meter, one liter, gram and second, they all go here. And we're just going to do some conversions using the ladder method. Uh, I guess the idea is if we want to convert between centimeters and meters using this ladder method. Uh, and there are some arrows here. When you're going down, think of these as steps. When you're going down these steps, the decimal moves to the right. When you're going up the steps, the decimal moves to the left. And let's just do an example to see what we mean. The first one, we want to convert 155 centimeters to meters. So we have 155 centimeters to meters. Uh, centimeters are going to be here, so we're starting here, and we want to convert into regular meters, and meter is going to be a base unit, so we're going to end here. So we got to go up one step, two steps. We went up two steps to the, well, we went up two steps, so the decimal has to move two places to the left. So I have one point, 155, and there is an assumed decimal right here going to move over one, two places. So 155 centimeters is 1.55 meters. And that's how we do that conversion. You just count the number of steps and you move the decimal in the appropriate direction. And let's try another one. Let's try 25 kilometers, two meters. So we have 25 kilometers. And again, there is a decimal right here. Right, assume decimal, 25 kilometers. And kilo is up here. So we have 25 kilometers. We want to go into meters. And again, meter is a base unit. So we're going down to the base. We don't always have to go to the base, but in this case, we are. And we're going down one, two, three steps. So the decimal has to move to the right three places. So this decimal has to move over one, two, three places right there. I have to put in my zeros. So we see that 25, 25 kilometers equals, I'm sorry, that's drawn messy, is equal to 25,000 meters. And that makes sense because one kilometer is a thousand meters. So if you have 25 kilometers, you have 25,000 meters or kilometers. Um, let's do one that's not a base unit. This one we're going from 2 kilometers to centimeters. So we're starting up here. We have 2 uh, kilometers and we're going all the way down to here. So we have a lot of steps this time. So we have 2 km and we have to move down one, two, three, four, five places. So we went down and decimal has to move five places to the right. So we have to take this two and there's a decimal here. One, two, three, four, five places. Now we gotta put in our zeros. Five zeros. So two kilometers equals 200,000 centimeters and we can do the same thing with 
our milliliters. We're right here now. If we have 3,400 ml, that ml means milliliter. And again, a liter is a base unit. We're going into liters. Liter is here, millis here. So we have 3,400 milliliters. We have to go up one, two, three steps. We're going up three steps. The decimal has to move to the left. So we have 3,400. The decimal's right here. We have to move it one, two, three places to the left. So that ends up being 3.4 liters. And that's equal to 3,400 milliliters. So this is how we do metric conversions using the stair step method. And if we want to go liters to milliliters, now we have 3.4 liters. And liter is a base unit. It's here. We want to go down to milli. We're doing the exact opposite thing. Opposite thing, one, two, three steps to the right. So this decimal has to move over three places to the right. And it becomes 3.4123. So I got to put in two zeros. 3400. Oh, oh. That's exactly what we just saw. 3400 milliliters is 3.4 liters. 3.4 liters is 3400 milliliters. Same thing, and we'll do the last two. Let's say we have 256 grams. Uh, gram, again, is a base unit right here. So gram is here. And we are going into kilograms. Kilos up here. We're going up one, two, three steps this way. So the decimal moves to the left three places. So we have the number 256. Decimal is assumed to be here, even though it's not written. It has to go over one, two, three places to right there. So 256 grams equals 0 0.256 kilograms and we will do the last one 45 kilograms to grams uh, when you get good you know the kilo means 45 or a kilo means thousand so if you have 45 of them that should just be 45,000 grams but we'll do this one out we're starting with kilograms and gram is a base unit we want to go here so we need to go down one two, three steps to the right. Decimal got to move three places. This 45, there's a decimal right here. We got to move it over one, two, three places. And again, 45 kilograms is 45,000 grams. So that's how we do metric conversions using the ladder method. And you may see problems like this. They give you two numbers, compare using less than, greater than, or equal to. So really you just got to figure out which uh, measurement is larger. It's 56 centimeters greater than, less than, or equal to 6 meters. So really what you got to do is convert one to the other. doesn't matter which one you pick. Uh, in this case, I'll take, six, I'll take 56 centimeters. Centimeters is here. We are going into meters because I want to meet a meter is a base unit. So you have to go up one two steps to the left so the decimal has to move two steps to the left so 56 centimeters this decimal here is moving over one two equals 0 0.56 meters so obviously 0 0.56 meters is less than six meters so this number is much less than this and that makes sense because there's a hundred centimeters in one meter if you have six meters or 600 centimeters um, we'll do another one. Seven grams or 698 milligrams. Which one's a greater value? Greater, less than, or equal to? And we'll take gram. Gram is a base unit. So we have seven grams. Remember, there's a decimal right here. It's assumed to be there. And we're going to convert it into milligrams. So we have to go down one, two, three steps. So the decimal is moving three places to the right. So we take that seven and go one, two, three, decimals there, put in our zeros. And we see that seven grams equals 7,000 milligrams. 
So obviously seven grams is much greater than 698 milligrams. And that's how we do those. Uh, remember King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Hopefully this helps you use the latter method for metric conversions. Mr. Sapone, I'm out.